Welcome back to another tutorial on 2D game design in Unity. In the previous tutorial, uh, we looked at how to um, count the score in the game and collect coins of different value um, and count those. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do now is start giving feedback to the user and show them what the um, score is on screen or show them how many coins um, they actually have. So at the moment, um, I can go through and I can collect coins um, and there are coins of different values. So I've got like this coin here, which is worth five points, um, but there's no feedback to the user. So we can display up here in the corner of the screen, we can display how many coins have been collected. And then we can also, um, after doing that, we could add other things as well, like health um, and so on. So. Um, what we need to do is um, we need to add a UI to this game and Unity actually has an inbuilt UI system. So in Unity, we can click on game object and we can go down to UI. And what we want to do is we, we want to display uh, the score on screen or the number of coins collected on screen. So we've got different things here we can use in the future like buttons and sliders and scroll bars and all sorts of different things. But we just need text for now to display um, the number of coins collected. So I'll click on text. <clears throat> and when you do that, you notice it doesn't just add text, it adds a few different things. So we've got canvas, text and event system. And if you click on the text and we'll just zoom out a little bit, you can actually see we've got text here. It says new text, and then we've got this big white box over here. Now, if I click on play, I can't actually see anything yet. I can't see that text on screen. So what I can do is while that text is selected, and um, while I've got the move tool here, I can just click and drag that up, and now click on play. And we can see new text here. So what this big white box is, is it's the actual canvas. And so what's inside this box is going to display what's attached to the canvas. So different UI components like text and buttons that are on the canvas or a child of the canvas object in the hierarchy will display uh, on screen when they're inside this white box. So you can see inside this white box, we've actually got the sky and we've got like this coin here and a few planks, but they don't display up like in the bottom corner or down in the bottom corner of the screen. It's only objects attached to the canvas in the hierarchy that are going to display in that part of the canvas. So the canvas is kind of like between the camera and the actual world. So it's in front of the camera and what's on that canvas the user can see in front of their world. So if the text displaying the score is on the canvas, then the, the user will be able to see that. All right, so what we need to do is we need to position this text so that it's up in the top left corner of the screen. All right, and we could do a few other things. So what we could do is change the default text here instead of saying new text. We could get it to say something like score um, 99, something like that, just as an example. We could change the font, the font style. We could change the font size. So if I click and um, drag this text to the, this, where it says font size, if I click and drag that to the right, I can increase the size of the score. Okay, and I can also um, scale it up if I need to as well. All right, um, so we can do that. We can change things like the alignment, line spacing, um, and things like the color. So it's very difficult if we just play that. Uh, well, it doesn't look too bad, but you might find it difficult um, to see the text on the screen um, on different backgrounds. So if we have like a dark sky background or uh, something like that, it might be difficult to read the score. So you might want to change it to something brighter. I mean, you could change it to white if you want to, or you could change it to yellow or red. Um, so I might make it yellow for now, see how that looks. Okay, maybe try red. All 
Okay, so that's okay for now. I'll leave it like that. And what we could do is also um, actually display a picture of coins here and maybe a heart for health instead of displaying text. But at the moment in this tutorial, we'll just cover text. And what I'll do is I'll actually replace this to coins instead of score because we're actually just collecting coins at the moment. We don't have a, a total score yet. Okay, so at the moment it just says coins 99. Um, we've set the color for the text. I think I might make it a bit more red. There we go. Um, set the font size so the user can easily see the, the score up there. And now what I want you to pay attention to is at the moment, the score is up here in the top left corner. All right, but if I click maximize on play and then run this again, now it's all the way down here. So instead of being up here in the top left corner, it's moved down here. And that's because basically what's saying, what, what we're saying is this point here, the center of the canvas, we want it to be, we want the text to be X distance away from that center mark on the canvas. So say if this was uh, five centimeters, all right, we're saying this is the center of the canvas, we want the text to be five centimeters away from that, okay? And then when we play it, it's going to do the same thing. So we've got the center of the canvas here and it's five centimeters away in relation to the center of the canvas. So instead of saying we want it to be that far away from the center, what we can do is on this text object, we can go and click on this box up here and at the moment, the anchor uh, is set to the center. We can change it to top left. And so now what we're saying is no matter what size the uh, screen is when we run this game, it's always gonna be up in the top left corner. And now we're saying make it X distance away from the top left corner, top left corner. Okay, so now if I run that again without maximize on play turned on, it's still up there in the top left corner. All right, so that's a lot better. All right, so we've got the text component uh, here. We've got some default text. We've changed the font size. Uh, we've changed the color and we've repositioned it up into the top left corner. So what we can do now is actually start displaying the number of coins on screen. And we're already counting this, the number of coins in the game in the level manager script. So all we need to do is just display the value of the coins stored in a variable on this text here. So it's actually quite easy. So it's going back to the scripts folder. We can open up the level manager script in MonoDevelop. And the level manager script is at the moment responsible for um, adding coins um, in the game. So we have a variable here, an integer variable called coins, which is storing the number of coins collected in the game. And we have a method here called add coins, which um, adds coins to the total number of coins um, based on which coin we've collected, which um, in the coin script, we add um, a coin value and the coin value is specified on different coins. So we have in the game, uh, simple coins uh, like this one, let me find it. This coin here, which is worth just one coin, well, has a value of one. And we have another coin up here, which is a bit harder to get, which has a value of five, okay? So basically we have the coin script, which actually detects whether the uh, coin is collected and then um, passes it, the value of that coin into the level manager into the add coins method and increases the total number of coins. So this method here is where we're actually adding or increasing the number of coins or increasing the score, you could say. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to um, use the UI components or the UI system in this script. So we need to access the text um, UI object here in the script. And to do that, what we need to say is public text, 
Now, when we start typing text, you'll notice that nothing comes up in this list. So before, when we typed in things like float and player controller and int, they turn blue and you'll see them in the list here of suggestions. But text is not showing up. And that's because um, text is in, um, well, text is used in uh, a part of the code that hasn't actually, um, is, isn't actually being accessed here in um, MonoDevelop yet. So what we need to say is using, at the top here, outside the class, using Unity Engine dot UI. And end that line with a semicolon. And now when we type public text, text comes up as an option and will turn um, blue when we create this um, variable. So now we can access um, text because we're using the use Unity Engine dot UI um, components in this code. We're accessing um, all of the code that we need to work with the UI. All right, so we'll say public text and we'll give it a name. We can just call it coin text. Okay, and now what we can do is save that script, go back to Unity, go to the level manager object, and now you can see coin text here. What we can do is just drag this text object onto this box here. Before we do that, we might rename this as well to coin text. All right, so that's called coin text. We can go to the level manager, and drag it onto that coin text field here. All right, now going back to our code, all we need to do now is set the score on screen at the beginning of the game when the game loads, and then update the score on screen every time we collect a coin. So in the start method, we can say coin text dot, and we want to change uh, the, if we go to coin text, we want to change the text that's actually displayed. Um, so we can just get the text. So we can say coin text dot text equals, and then we can have a string that says coins. All right, just like this when I run it. We see coins and colon and a space. So we can put that in, coins, colon, space, close that double quotes, and then add a plus. And what we're going to add on to the end of this um, text is the actual value of coins um, that we've collected, the actual number. And that variable is called coins. So we can just say plus coins and end that line with a semicolon. All right, now this, uh, if we run the game, uh, and at the moment, you'll notice that I've set the default text to coins 99. So when I click on run or play, it immediately change it, changes it to coins zero because it's running the code inside the start method here and immediately changing it to whatever the value of coins is at the start of the game, which is zero because no, no coins have been collected yet. So we can just copy and paste this code. So copy that code and go down to the add coins method. And here is where we actually add coins to the total number of coins collected. So we can just make a new line there and paste that code. And so whenever we collect a new coin, the um, score will be updated, the number of coins will be updated, and that will also be updated on screen. So it'll give some feedback to the user. And that's it. So it's really quite easy. So let that compile, click on play. Score is set to zero or coins are set to zero. Let's collect a coin. And now coins is one. Let's collect another one. Coins is two. So we're collecting just coins that are worth one point. Now we'll collect a coin that's worth five points. And the coins is now seven. All right, so that's how to add um, UI to your game so that you can display um, a score on screen. And what we'll do from here is start improving the UI so we can also add other things like health. Um, so maybe when we hit this bomb over here, um, we might have health taken off. All right, anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.